Welcome to this video where we'll discuss how to manage your cluster upgrades with rollout sequencing. With rollout sequencing, you can manage the order of automatic cluster upgrades across your environments. Before we continue, you should already be familiar with the concepts of fleets and scopes, as well as how clusters are upgraded with release channels. To recap, in a previous video, we've seen how you can group fleet clusters into scopes, and we looked at how scopes are used for team management in your fleet. In this video, we look at how fleets and scopes can be used to manage your cluster upgrades. Now let's suppose you have your GKE clusters in multiple environments. GKE releases a new Kubernetes version for your cluster's release channel, and you want to upgrade your clusters, but you want to ensure that groups of clusters are upgraded in a specific order. Maybe you'd like to upgrade the clusters in the test environment first, then the staging environment, and finally production. With rollout sequencing, you can sequence and upgrade between fleets. Or, if you further grouped your clusters into scopes, then you can sequence and upgrade between scopes. Let's look at how this works with some examples. StreamTech is a company running their GKE clusters on version 1.25. They've organized their clusters into two fleets, staging and production. All their clusters are enrolled in the regular release channel for automatic upgrades. When a new version is released, StreamTech would like to follow this sequence for testing the new version. First, they want the staging clusters to be upgraded. Then they want to wait a week to confirm that the upgrade was successful in the staging fleet. Once they've confirmed those workloads are running as expected, they want the upgrade to roll out to the production clusters. This process of defining the order in which you want fleets upgraded is called creating a rollout sequence. The waiting period of seven days is referred to as soaking time. In other words, the amount of time that should elapse between each rollout. So StreamTech goes ahead and creates a rollout sequence with these specifications. Now let's assume a new version, 1.26, is scheduled for the 1st of May. Since StreamTech has enrolled all their clusters in a release channel, the upgrade begins automatically on or after May 1st in this sequence. GKE upgrades all clusters in the staging fleet to 1.26. Once the upgrade in the staging fleet is complete, the soaking period, in this case seven days, begins. When the soaking period is complete, GKE begins upgrading the clusters in the production fleet. Now let's look at another company. They've organized their GKE clusters into fleets and scopes. They have their clusters on two different versions in the two scopes, and they want different upgrade targets for these clusters. So they've enrolled the clusters in two different release channels. The web server team's clusters in the regular release channel, and the database management team's clusters in the stable release channel. Nexus Retail wants upgrades to roll out in a certain order between their scopes, so they create these rollout sequences. For the web server team scope, the rollout sequence indicates that the scope in the testing fleet should upgrade first, followed by the scope in the staging fleet, and finally the scope in the production fleet. The platform admin also doesn't want any soaking time, so the rollout to the next scope can begin as soon as the previous one is complete. For the database management team scope, the rollout sequence defines the same order, but here the platform admin also wants a soaking time of five days between each rollout. Now let's assume version 1.26 is available in the stable channel. GKE will upgrade the database management team's clusters in the testing fleet first. Then the soaking time of five days begins. When this is complete, GKE upgrades the clusters in the staging fleet, and after another soaking period of five days, upgrades the clusters in the production fleet. Let's also assume version 1.27 is now available in the regular release channel. Since the clusters in the web server scope are enrolled in this channel, GKE will first upgrade those clusters in the testing fleet. Once the clusters are upgraded, and since there is no soaking time specified, GKE will begin upgrading the clusters in the staging fleet and then move on to the production fleet. As you can see from these examples, if you want to manage cluster upgrades with rollout sequencing, then you have to organize your clusters into fleets and scopes if you want to manage a scope-based rollout. All clusters in a rollout sequence should be in the same release channel and minor version to successfully upgrade to new versions. In this video, you've seen how rollout sequencing gives you even more control over the upgrade process than just using release channels. For more information, check out our documentation. Thanks for watching.